I'm going to give you a moment to just process that amazing transformation that just happened here. As I walk down uh, into the let me just give these a quick little shuffle like that, and then I'd like you to cut the cheese. I mean, like, cut, cut, the, cut the cards. That's good. And take the top one. That'll be your card. Look at it. Show it to everybody. Remember it. Uh, you'll, you'll see it as it goes past your eyes. And now, uh, uh, no good the way. We're so smart. I'm going to have you replace your card in the center of the deck right there. Uh, it is completely lost. There's no way that I could possibly find that card. Let's take, let's take a quick look at the top card. Oh, that's not yours. I wave my hand like this. That causes your card to come to the top. <laughs> cheeses it's it's Sparky's card. Uh, Sparky, what I'm going to have you do is to very carefully remove the plastic coating from the card, try not to tear the card in any way, and of course while you do that, I will entertain everyone with some classic card manipulation. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> by taking a bite out of the corner of the card. You know, a good size, a good size bite so they can see it from a distance. That's perfect, just like that. All right, so hold it up so they can see it. Does that taste okay? You could probably eat the plastic and it would taste about the same, yeah. Uh, actually, I wasn't really sure. You're not lactose intolerant, are you? Are, are you able to speak? Yes. Yes? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, it's, it's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> I was only asking about it because I actually I found this stuff out in the alley. I wasn't really sure how long it was. And I'm just making this up as I go along. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, in a moment, that card is going to vanish. And it's going to appear between the panes of glasses over there. Uh, the, I'm sorry, was it Victoria? Yeah, is that right? Okay, so um, uh, Sparky, so uh, it's going to appear between the panes of glass that Victoria is holding over there, and then we're going to match the corner back in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have eaten that. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> it, you know, it didn't really occur to me. So uh, it's going to appear over there. You're going to take it home, and then in a, a couple hours, maybe tomorrow or something like that, you're going to match the corner back in there. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be pretty mangled by that point. So I've got a better idea. We're going to have you sign your name on your card using this marking pen. Now, I know I've been doing kind of fast, <laughs> so I'm going to give you a chance to catch up. So, uh, if you catch up, take the marking pen and then write your name on here. That's Sparky, S-P-A-R. Don't forget the K-Y. Oh. <laughs> just write it. That's good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, just like that. <laughs> You're going to have to, uh, make, you know, no, no, don't touch it. Don't. Don't touch it, just to finish it right there. Put the KY on there, otherwise, you know, it'll never get in between the panes of glass. All right, so, yeah, just like that. Okay, and he has written his name in Japanese kanji, uh, which is a great choice. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to read that. Okay, so, uh, so uh, come in a little bit closer. You, you seem to be frightened for some reason, uh, for a good reason. All right, hold your hand out like that because we're going to place the card back into your hand. But before I do that, I'm going to tear it into tiny little pieces like this. So that, oh, yeah, I, I should have let the ink dry. I'm sorry, I'm getting ink all over you. You have nothing to worry about, you know, we're, we're making a terrible mess here, but it'll be okay. I have some napkins over here. I will clean myself off. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Now, uh, at this point, 
You're probably wondering, how will the card vanish? How will it get between the panes of glass? Well, that's where we introduce the element of danger. That's right. I have here with me two antique dueling pistols. I told you this trick had appeal. Look at that little ruster on the barrel like that. We're going to be firing it from one of these guns. And Sparky, it's your choice. Just point to either one. Whichever one you point to, that's the one we'll use. Which one? This one? All right, so we'll get rid of that one. And then we'll be using the, Oh, it's already loaded with potassium. Uh, that's, uh, that's perfect for a performer of my caliber. Now, we'll place your card into the chamber of the gun. And have you ever fired... Oh my God. Have you ever fired a gun before? Oh, you, you, you look familiar. <laughs> not, it's not you, huh? Turn sideways. No? Yeah, it must be you. Okay, anyway. All right, here. This is all you have to do. Uh, you, and you've probably heard this before. Grab the butt gently. <laughs> and support the nozzle. Oh, my God. So, right there, just gently. Use your other hand to support it right there. Oh, wait a second. Uh, your hands are all messy. Let me... Uh, let me get you some of these. Here, we'll wipe that off. All right, good, and then hold on to it. That's perfect, okay. All right, so Sparky is ready. He has the gun in place. It's very simple. Uh, all you have to do when I count to three is you're gonna fire it. But you know, uh, right now with Victoria sitting out in the audience, uh, most of the audience is in the line of fire. So we're gonna ask her to come up to the stage. Let's give her a big round of applause as she makes her way right up to the stage. Come on up, Victoria. All the way up on stage, that's perfect. Oh, what a gentleman. He's, he's aiming a gun at you, and he's so nice. Uh, so, Victoria, I'm going to ask you to stand right over here, please. And then hold the panes of glass out in front of you right by the top like this. Yeah. Then turn them sideways so he has more to aim for. Take one step back that way. Aim right at the panes of glass, not at Victoria. And, um, uh, um... Uh, this is silly. I, I just I just realized, you know, I, I'm, I'm making fun of a classic of magic, and you're, or you're all encouraging me, and you just sat there laughing and applauding, and I don't even know how this trick works, you know. Actually, in the original one, there's a spring-loaded trap that sort of fires the card up between the panes of glass, but all I have here is a child man holding onto a gun. Uh, and, uh, and a, and, a, and a beautiful woman with a couple of slices of bread, and there is no way that any of this is going to uh, work out. And I'm, I'm just embarrassed to be a part of it, and so uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I, 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 just, I just can't continue. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys, you, guys are, you guys are still here? I mean, you know, the show up till now was really great, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the show up till now was really great, wasn't it? We, we can have a big round of applause for Mago Andy, who was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Danny H, great, very entertaining. Sound was run uh, by Rick, he did a fantastic job. I have a great job for the rest of the staff that helped out organizing this whole convention. Uh, all, all of the people who brought things to sell here, all of the uh, the people that were at the flea market, they were fantastic. Yeah. You guys, you, you know, it, it, honestly, I can say this. I can say this without reservation. You are the best audience of the night. Uh, so give yourselves a round of applause right. for that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, I, I feel bad that, that I just, that I did this. Uh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? So maybe, maybe we should resort to real magic, because... <sighs> oh, I've got an idea. Okay, don't listen to this. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna count to three. When I say three, I want everybody to yell bang as loud as you possibly can, and we're gonna convince Sparky that's a real gun. Look at him, it'll be easy. <laughs> I, told you not, I told you not to, don't point that at me. I told you not to listen. It's your own fault for listening. So, uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck back here, okay? You aim, all right? When I count to three, you'll, you'll squeeze the trigger. You're gonna hear the gun fire. 
And then that car will go Swiss right through the air. <laughs> and Victoria, <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> and Victoria, the panes of glass will move, won't they? Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. I know what you're thinking. This better be Gouda. I cheddar to think what might happen if anything goes wrong, but I'm gonna muster up the courage to continue. Here we go. One, two, three. Bang! Did you see it? Open up the gun. Open it up. Show everybody. The card is gone. No, open it all the way up. They want to see there's no card anywhere inside the gun. Victoria. Oh, you know what? I won't touch them. Instead. Very carefully open up the Chinese box of mystery. <clears throat> Take out the panes of glass. <clears throat> and hand them to me. <laughs> and look, here between them, it's Sparky's signed card. There's his signature. There's the card, it's missing the teeth marks. Sparky, smile a little bit. It matches exactly. There you go, you take that and that. Here's the end of this. That'll preserve it for you. Who said there's no such thing as a free lunch? Big round of applause for him. You're very used to around with me. You get the heck out of here. The most magical thing that happened, but I was so young at the time, it really did seem like magic to me. Uh, my mother and I were sitting on the back porch of my family's house. The full moon was just rising up over the horizon, and uh, and I still remember. I was so I was so amazed. It's the first time I got to see the full moon. And my mom told me that the moon and the stars and all of the planets have magical properties, and I still believe that to this day. Now, using this napkin, I'm going to uh, show you a picture of the full moon to see how magical it is. But to make it more entertaining for you and a bit more challenging for me, I'm going to try to make a perfect circle with one tear. A single tear to make a perfect circle, just like this. I will need your help, so come in just a little bit closer here. I'm gonna have you pinch these pieces before I tear them off. So just pinch right there. And you can see how they're still connected, yes? So we'll take those right out of the center. You hold on to those, and I'll see how well I've done over here to see if I made a picture of the full moon. Oh, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, Victoria, do you see the man in the moon? <laughs> that's, that's me. Now, uh, now, as I said, the moon was just rising up over the horizon. And I looked to the right, and there was the first star just kind of twinkling into view. And my mom had said that the moon and the stars and all of the planets have magical properties. So I asked her, what about that first star? She told me it's the most magical of all. If you make a wish on it, your wish comes true. And there's a poem that you probably know. It goes like this. Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish I wish tonight. And I wished that I could do magic. And my wish came true. But you know, I was so young at the time, it didn't occur to me that there's something that I should have wished for. And if you let me see that circle, I'll show you what I should have wished for. You see, I should have wished to be just like that star. Because then, I could give people whatever they wish, and I'll give you this, so you may have whatever you wish. Thank you so much. Big round of applause for Beverage, it's a, it's a Coca-Cola. So, you know, the kids can stay and watch if they want to watch me drink Coca-Cola, which is fascinating, because uh, it never happens. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I also have an unusual way of doing this, so you might be interested in it. I'm kind of like James Bond in this respect. You see, James Bond likes uh, his martinis shaken, not stirred, right? I prefer my beverages past, not poured. Looks like this.
Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh my God. Thank you guys. Good night. One more time for Dan Harlow, ladies and gentlemen, one out there. Just another one out there.